Hi, I'm Christy Comedian. This is my democracy tree. You know why there's three branches? Because my friend, it represents the three branches of the government. Here we have the executive, here we have the legislature, and the judiciary. Mm. <laughs> They're starting to look like little fancy tree houses. <laughs> Check this out. Here you have these guys, the executive. They hang out at the state house. Here we find the president, the vice president, the prime minister, and deputy prime minister, as well as the cabinet and its ministers. The president is elected directly by the citizens. The president appoints the vice president, the prime minister, and others who make up the cabinet. It's as simple as that. And we have the legislature, where we find parliament, which is made up of the National Assembly and the National Council. The National Assembly has 96 voting members elected by the Namibian citizens, plus eight non-voting members appointed by the president. A total of 104 members. The National Council has three members from each of Namibia's 14 regional councils, giving us a total of 42 members. And then there's the judiciary, which is made up of the country's courts. You know, the Supreme Court, the High Court, the Magistrates Court, and the Community Court. So why not just one branch of government? Check this out. Each branch has its own powers. Our system makes sure that no one branch becomes too strong or controlling. This is what protects the rights of the people. It's a system of checks and balances. Each branch checks what the other is doing. It's always two against one. That's so our rights are protected. In a democracy, power belongs to the people. Another form of check and balance in a democracy is an active civil society. That's right, you and me, the people. We have a say in what happens in our country. We have the right to come together to consider, criticize, monitor, and influence government actions. So my friends, know your government, know your rights, understand our democracy.